What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, where today I actually have the new, uh, what do they, they call it, like the Polymer or something like that, that tank blitz from Motive. I don't know a ton about it, but I heard it's not exactly urethane. It's a little bit kind of like a mixture, I would think, of some sort. I don't know, Motive guys will be able to correct me on that if I'm wrong, but uh, it's a really strong type of bowling ball. So we laid one out and we put some holes in it, and we're gonna take it out here on a uh, kind of a used, leak pattern out here and we're going to give it a look so stay tuned <laughs> all right we got holes in the blitz the tank blitz from motive so we are going to now throw some shots and see what we can come up with on this this actually almost ended up rico for me it was 30 degrees by uh, four and a half by 80 uh, which put it the pin basically directly in the middle of my bridge so it is pinned down but i wanted to smooth it out because a lot of the guys said this was super strong um, but we'll see what happens here in the first couple of shots see what we get i'm gonna try just like everything else and try to go right in the track area and see what she does oh i missed right holy cow uh okay well, um, I'm gonna assume that because that was the first shot on a fresh urethane cover, urethane-ish cover, that that was just overreaction because of it. So I'm gonna try and stay in the same area and throw another one. Nope, just kidding. Holy cow. Okay, so they weren't kidding about this thing. This thing is strong. And it's not like super strong early and stop strong. It's strong as in early and continues to be strong. So I'm going to skip a few levels here and go about 10 left. Let's see what we get. Eh, boy, that, wow. So that one was early and kind of bail a little bit. So I'm gonna have to, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna keep going left with it. See what it does. That was, that was kind of crazy. I'll go three more left from there. See if I can get it to the front. Oh, will it hook? Wow, that's amazing. I mean, this might be the strongest ball I've probably ever seen in my life. Like early and everything. Holy cow. Well, they said it was strong, but good grief. All right, let me, so that was three. So let's go four more. Let's see if it'll go through the pens. Like you gotta imagine it's gonna get to a spot where it's not gonna go around the pens or go through the pens. Yeah. So I finally got it to the pocket, but it's so strong that it just kinda, I mean, it still was continuing. It still was hooking the entire lane. All right, so this thing's super strong. So let's go. So that one didn't quite go through the pens. So let's see if we can, I don't know if I can slow it down because of a hook early. I'll just have to try and get my hand around it more. It's around it. Yeah, wow. Okay, so that was pretty cool. So that one got through the pins. So I just really had to get my hand around it from there to get the ball to go through them. Keep going left, see what happens. It's around it, so it should be, whoa! That is awesome, like that is really cool. This is actually, this reminds me a lot of the Purple Hammer. And I think that's probably what they're going for. But to have a ball that is strong in the front and 
and doesn't just bail like a normal, like a black hammer or pitch black or a normal urethane ball. That's, that's unique. That's what a purple hammer does. It's strong, but then it still continues down line. That's why people run everybody over with them. Oh gosh, that was way left. Oh, but that trapped. It trapped right in the middle of the lane and still went through the pens. That was incredible. Like I'm, wow. So this would be a nice compliment to my purple hammer. Because I think if anything, this is just a little bit stronger than the purple hammer, maybe in the front part of the lane. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can get one going right. Let's see if it'll come around the corner. Man. All right, once I got into a little bit of oil and it could store a pinch of energy, it got crazy good, like really good. Let me see what happens if I can, I mean, I really pitch one right. Let's see if it'll come around the corner still. Ooh, my eyes like too right. Holy moly. All right, that is a sign of a really good bowling ball when it comes to a urethane type ball. Because if you can throw it dead right like that into the dry and it still comes off of it and keeps going left, you have yourself a winner. Now I'm strictly talking urethane balls for that matter. Now I don't think there's ever gonna be a time when you're really gonna wanna hook the lane with this ball. But the fact that you can do it is a big deal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I just want to keep throwing this thing. Like, I really hope this ball looks super good this weekend. Although we're born on 36 feet, so if there's not enough volume in the front, I don't think I'll be able to use it. But my only other urethane right now is the purple hammer. So maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to use it. All right, here we go again. One more shot. Trap. Oh, man. Oh, wow. All right, so there we go. We got that blitz out here, and holy moly, I am super impressed with this ball. I can't believe how strong it actually is for what it's meant to be. I've never seen a bowling ball do that other than a purple hammer. And I would even give this one, I would say this one, maybe it's just because it's what I'm bowling on, but the, but the characteristics of this thing is ridiculous. So um, I, I would say it's probably a little bit stronger than what the Purple Hammer is. I don't know that I would, I, I can't say that I would throw this instead of the Purple Hammer, but I can say it's gonna make my bag and I'm gonna end up throwing this uh, when I need something a little bit stronger than the Purple Hammer, I would say, at least as of right now. So uh, this isn't a ball that I would miss out on. If I was you and you're looking for a good urethane, uh, and you already have a purple, this would be the way to go. Um, but until next time, guys, this is what I got for you on the Blitz. Make sure to head over to BowlerX.com and get yours today, and we will see you guys later. Thanks.